Namaste. I had a request to do a pendulum reading on UG Krishnamurti. And he is one that I am not real familiar with. Um, you know, a little bit. And um, I have a bit of a sense of him. But let's just see what happens. The question that came out was, was he in a samadhi or was he verging on being crazy just because of the way that he behaved at times and where his where is his consciousness now so let's see what questions get answered in this reading okay okay um Okay, it feels relatively light at the moment. Okay, so man of questions. UG Krishnamurti, at least for a certain part of his journey, had a lot of questions within his soul. He wanted to find out answers for himself. And this is a lot of his journey. This is what a lot of it was about. Okay, he did encounter certain sages, certain ones that were in an awake state or more within that state. And um, one of them, so, okay, so there's a no and a yes. So maybe some that he met up with were not as awake as others. That is really what that is. So he did meet up at one point with Ramana Maharishi. He um, spent time with some other ones that were on the same path or had come to a certain point where they were speaking about freedom, liberation, samadhi. Okay, so he journeyed along that way with his, um, okay, with, with these questions that really shook in him. And he, um, when he did meet up with these souls that were in these different various states of being awakened, he, um, would speak with them. He didn't always like the answers he got. Let's see if this is right. Okay. He didn't always like the answers he received back from from them. He was more like, well, what is that about? Or in his heart, the word would be argumentative. Let's see. Yeah. So it sounds like that is the way it was. He was resistive and a bit argumentative in the way that he, um, would communicate he would try to throw out whatever they said and um, dispose of it okay and continue to look um, for his own answers Let's see if this is right okay so it's getting weaker like you know part of what happened here for UG at least it feels like is that he did reject some different energies that could have been beneficial to him Okay, so he rejected them as a way to say, you know, I know better in a way, or I will find out different. See if this is right, yes. And this is really at least what it feels like that he came up with his own special way of communicating, um, you know, because he did um, close the door to the other um, certain lights or enlightened ones that uh, were speaking to him. Okay, um, so that that is part of what happened here. Okay, so um, so with his way that he had, which was a unique way of expressing his journey or his experiences. Okay, so in the way that he spoke at times with others, it was. Um, it was a bit, uh, what's the word, trying to be in um, a dialogue with them, trying to engage them in more of a dialogue in a way that yet many times some of their eyes or some of their, the way their eyes would look or things they would, they would look confused about whatever message he brought forward. They couldn't quite grasp onto it. 
um, this is um, the way that he would convey things. However, they would feel his energy. They would feel like he is speaking as a transcended one. This is the way his students felt. Okay, and that's getting bigger. But in terms of him really being able to relay what the state was that he was in, let's see if this came off fair, clear enough. Okay, so right away it's saying no. It didn't come out clear enough for others to really say, oh, you know, this is um, these steps or this path or this is what he's talking about. But let's see if within him he was um, clear Okay, so let's go, and again, I'm not going to say, oh, let's just put the pendulum up there and see what happens up to his being, his energy. Okay, so there's a bit of a no, and then there's a bit of a yes. So it sounds like with UG there was some uh, experiences that came that were explosive to him, that he felt in his heart were very transforming that he felt he was had a different perspective on things due to that um, but they were experiences okay and see the pendulum getting bigger yes they, they were experiences that came and went they did leave him with some different perspective okay so that gets a little bit weaker it's a um, lighter um, so they left him with a different vision he felt and let's see if this is the way it is okay yeah but it's relatively weak I don't feel a lot of heaviness like there's this real heavy wisdom in him this really heavy non-dual wisdom let's see if this is right okay so it is getting bigger however um, okay so this is this is partly uh, what came out from him so there were experiences um, there were changes there were some transformations there um, okay so this was is marked on him um, the way he spoke Let's see Okay, so he, um, so let's see, heart, so there's a no, there's a yes. So again, you know, some of what uh, took place for Yuji was that possibly he didn't, um, again, like one said, and when he journeyed along and he met certain sages, he didn't necessarily, he didn't keep his, he didn't allow for that communication in an open-hearted way okay and this so that he could allow this light this universal light to really deeply penetrate him see if this is right in a way that it, it's gay blew out his mind to nirvana okay so the pendulum's getting bigger with that so this this seems to be uh much bigger in that way so um Okay, so with his way that was relatively obstinate, that was brash, that could come off as rude, okay, and um, harsh, um, his words that were somewhat um, puzzling at times to people, um, that were based on dialogue primarily, um, okay in attempting to get others to really understand where he was coming from. He worked really hard at that. Okay, it's getting bigger. In terms of really being able to convey what was there for him, it just didn't come out so, in a, in a way that that could really, um, like I say, resonate with others so that they could get, you know, it just wasn't very clear. All right, so, you know, it wasn't that he didn't have anything to give. Let's see if this is true. No, I mean, he had this, some messages of transformation, of some changes um, that could be there. But, uh, again, were they voiced real clearly? Or did they help others move forward? Let's see. So not in a way that one could, you know, go forward so easily. Okay, now there's a, it's interesting how it's just quieted and gotten completely balanced. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so what is being felt is this man, uh, UG Krishnamurti has sense 
um, he departed from body is uh, sort of floating along in a way and drifting okay to where he is um, a bit untethered in his being and not fully able to grasp on to a solid whole, a, a solidity in terms of being completely feeling whole. It was interesting how that got so still and it is doing that again, okay. So let's see if this is correct in this reading. Yes, it's it's light now. I am not feeling it, you know, just drop down real heavy, but okay, so he is a, he's just drifting, he's drifting you know, a bit um, unmoored, okay. So again, it would be good for him to have the right way of communicating, the right way of understanding, the right way. And I do see a Buddha, like right here, like a Buddha, someone in a lotus position with some rays coming out, like to really sit, to really settle, to really allow whatever, um, whatever was left in there that was just colored by personal experience, um, to be washed clean, to settle into that. And let's see if he's feeling some of that. So not fully, he's, he's just not yet. Okay, so he's still floating, he's drifting. Um, again, it's not, I don't feel a lot of heavy karmic attachment to him. Let's see if this is correct. So, okay, so does he have a lot of heavy karmic baggage? Okay, so not as much. And he does have, there's some, you know, but, you know, everyone leaves with some if they're not completely cleared out, let's face it. But it's not as heavy feeling. It's not as being drug around so heavily by that, which is, again, interesting. Okay, so he was an interesting man. He was a stubborn man. He was a man that didn't want to be manipulated or to be told what to do, what not to do. He was a man that thought he knew best with these things. You know, he did live to be um, in his golden years. I mean, live to be, you know, so whatever happened, somehow he made it there. But, and, uh, you know, again, you know, where the way that things come off is there's just a lot of unique expression. UG Krishnamurti certainly had one of those unique ways of expressing. But for him to be completely blown out in Nirvana, let's see. So again, the pendulum is going no. He just, he wasn't yet. Uh, he still needs time to get that cleansed and cleared. Um, there are energies there that are sending him love and light in the ethers. And more than likely um, in the earthly plane. So this is good for him. I see some candles lit by his picture. There may be some students that have done that. Or it could be symbolic of the ethers, you know, attempting to send him that love. Which again is always there for all. So anything else with him? I'm not feeling anything else with him. So we will go ahead and close this reading down. Thank you for asking me to do the reading and I hope all are having a lovely day. Namaste. Bye-bye.